Inquest Vote 2013. With less than a month ago before the May 13 elections, candidates in the senatorial and local levels are gearing up for one final push. Inquest Vote 2013 will feature a series of interviews with senatorial candidates, but this time with a twist. Instead of the usual political issues, Inquest will take on the lighter side of things. For our guest today, we have re-electionist Senator Gregorio Gringo Honasan. often do you bond with your family, particularly uh, considering the busy schedule that the legislator uh, has? Uh, I try to have uh, family dinners every Sunday. Every Sunday. Uh, that sort of allows me to, that's also my act of contrition <laughs> for uh, the lack of quality time. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I continue to be an absentee uh, father, husband, and now uh, grandfather. No? Because the demands of uh, being a senator are really uh, uh, so much. No? So every Sunday when time and uh, circumstances permit, we try to have uh, family dinners. Uh, of course, uh, in between I try to spend quality time, no? uh, which means that uh, every, every second counts. That's why, I don't know if it's on a more serious note, uh, when I'm asked what my greatest achievement is, it's my family. Uh, my children are not, well, even by my standards, are not exceptional in terms of uh, specific gifts or talents. No? But I believe that they are good children. No deep-seated uh, angers or hatreds. No? It's a miracle that they have adopted this kind of temperament after yeah. everything I have inflicted on them. That is why uh, none of them, by my influence and my wife's influence, have gone into politics mm -hmm. or uh, rebellion or uh, a military career. Oh, really? Yes. But by my strict uh, policy, mm -hmm. especially from my wife. Because my wife thinks that uh, if I allow any of them, to become soldiers or rebels or politicians, they will follow the same career pattern <laughs> in and out of jail, underground for seven years. So that's uh, that has created a, a, a dramatic effect. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned your wife uh, about her making decisions, uh, some decisions in the family. Would you consider? Would you call her commander? <laughs> her uh, our higher rank <laughs> when it comes to the home. You know, Matikas. Uh, my family is a very matriarchal family. Mm -hmm. you know, uh, I have had to go through the agony of sitting in breakfasts mm -hmm. with my wife, yeah. my mother, who at 88 still has uh, mm -hmm. the same uh, strength of character. No? Yeah. My sister, mm -hmm. of course, Alda, and uh, a five-year-old uh, grandchild. Mm -hmm. Combined, uh, I cannot even say anything. <laughs> I have to listen. Yeah. Uh, do you consult them in, in let's say, in, in planning or filing a bill or in considering a bill that you want to file? Yes, yes. Uh, on, on matters of national security, for instance? No, I get their inputs. Okay. But uh, their inputs are not the governing yeah. influence. Mm -hmm. I have to address a broader base of uh, information. Okay. But basically, it's a repost in the intended beneficiaries. Mm -hmm. Your perception is basically more a stoic, uh, uh, hard-nosed uh, politician, you know, reared with the military uh, training. Th and that's the image, and all that. But you know, sir. I mean, you make us laugh now, but what makes uh, you laugh? When, when I laugh at myself, <laughs> <laughs> because I, according to to experts. Comedians, uh, humorists I have uh, read and uh, interacted with, the test of a first-rate sense of humor is the ability to laugh at yourself. Mm -hmm. So I laugh at myself. I laugh when my children and grandchildren 
make fun of me. My wife is my worst critic. <laughs> she would tell me immediately what I did wrong or right. And most often she tells me what I did wrong. Mm -hmm. no. And uh, this makes me laugh. But, but, when you, but the times ah, yeah. when you were a soldier, you yes. thought about uh, going really into the government instead of... Even. At first I wanted to become a priest. Really? So you would probably <laughs> be talking to Monsignor uh, Unasa now, uh, pro life and And then uh, I wanted cardinal. to become a doctor. But my father said, was a soldier. Mm -hmm. By the way, uh, I can relate to what I've been mentioning because uh, I'm the grandson of a fisherman mm -hmm. and the son of a soldier. Yeah. I, I understand how it is to be deprived of food, mm -hmm. you know, clothing uh, and shelter. Uh, our, our family was probably lower middle class, but most of the time. Mm -hmm. I was uh, 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 with my grandparents. You know? uh, so. Uh, I've always had this, I think, inside me, mm -hmm. for better or for worse. I'm too consistent or too unpredictable to be a serious contender in our politics. Yeah. But I guess that is also my strength because, modesty aside, I think, I am told, and the records will bear me out, that I'm the first truly independent senator in Philippine political history to win in national elections. You have a finger missing. What happened to that one? Well, first, uh, Matikas, uh, this allows me a 10% discount <laughs> if I have to have a manicure. I'm one of the few who can say, give me four instead of give me five. So, uh, but I'm glad you mentioned that, no? And I have no, I mean, it's, it's a public knowledge anyway. It's a, it's uh, a bullet wound? Uh, no. Uh, my finger was severed when I was evading capture mm -hmm. by law enforcement agencies about uh, uh, more than 10 years ago. Yeah. But I had to, I retrieved my wedding ring. Mm -hmm. And I retrieved the finger, which oh, is now yeah. in, in oh, preserve yeah. by a friend whose name I will not mention because mm -hmm. he passed away recently. Mm -hmm. He owns a 20-bed hospital, mm -hmm. you know? and uh, they could not apply anesthesia mm -hmm. because there was a sad pursuit. I would be groggy. You know? But uh, I'm glad you mentioned that because this to me, uh, it reminds me of the struggles I have gone through. Mm -hmm. no? This was not run over by a tricycle, oh. <laughs> definitely. But this was born out of struggle. No? Uh, this is part of the scars of battle, so to speak. This reminds me of uh, what I tried to do for in the line of duty. Do you have guns? Yes. You still have them? Yeah, but I, I don't carry them anymore because even for personal security, Matikas, no? our best weapon, I've been in the uh, uh, security uh, uh, profession for a long time, your best weapon is really anonymity. Mm -hmm. When your bodyguards draw their firearms, if you have bodyguards, and many of our politicians do, it means your system has failed. Mm -hmm. You fail to assess the situation, you have established a pattern. And against a determined enemy, and history of other countries and other VIPs in other countries yeah. have shown us that against a determined yeah. enemy, a even the U.S. President or the Pope are not safe. So do you still do this um, security? No, not anymore. <laughs> what will you do if you don't have a gun? Are you, do you have do you have probably, martial arts? No, I'd probably run away. <laughs> <laughs> no, no kidding. Because uh, uh, <laughs> prudence is, uh, is better than valor sometimes. You know? It's not what you see in the movies. <laughs> yeah, I'd probably run away. Association with Senate President and release, I think, uh, taken in, uh, in 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 a different light. No? Mm -hmm. It belongs to the person ng masang Pilipino, and I am an independent. Mm -hmm. Whenever he was incarcerated, I was underground. Mm -hmm. When I was in jail, he was out there. So, uh, <laughs> but but he's like a father to me. Mm -hmm. No, I've never had the chance to be told by him that this is the way we should vote on certain issues. Do you consider him senator as uh, your role model or someone who you can actually look up to uh, when you're actually visualizing what you can or what you want to do for the country? Uh, let me put it this way, Abel. No? He's a major influence in my life. Mm -hmm. When my father passed away uh, almost 20 years ago, I, I guess he filled that back. Uh, I needed somebody to, to ask, mm -hmm. to look up to. Uh, of course, uh, uh, I say this publicly, he's not very easy to love. Mm -hmm. no? 
But once you get to know him better, as I have known him for half of my life, up to now, I'm willing to stop a bullet for him. Now, if that is a fault, then I accept responsibility for that. But how many relationships, even marriages, have lasted that long? No? So if it's a fault, then so be it. No? What's the best advice he has given you? Or what's the best, um, what's the most important time in your life when he helped you? Well, he said, that he always told me, uh, stay the course. Mm -hmm. It will not always be a popular course. Think of country first. Even if a hairline separates country and your personal objectives, it must always be country first. Mm -hmm. God and religion are very personal. You do not need an intermediary or a fixer to communicate with God. So uh, that has been a serious advice that he gave me, and I have adhered to that. Uh, I'm not perfect. I have done uh, many things in my life that uh, merit uh, commentaries, good and bad. But uh, lack of consistency is not one of them. And uh, consistency is something I learned from Senate President Enrique. Uh, do whatever it takes. You will be swimming against the current. But uh, you will know deep in your heart when it's the right thing to do. That's why... Senate President and really and I have shared something that no one can take away from us. Yeah. Life and death situations. Because, you know, uh, especially during a campaign period, talk is cheap. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. You get a good speech writer, you come up with beautiful press releases and yeah. speeches. No? But in my case, as probably in the case of Senate President and really, we risk our lives. I risk my life my family, my honor, over and over again. And I have the bullet wounds in my body mm -hmm. and in my heart and in my mind to show for it. Just wanted to give a situation. You are with the, your bodies, some from the Senate, probably some from the House of Representatives. You make private the club. Without you knowing it, they had arranged something special. And, uh, well, after a few minutes, here comes uh, a lovely lady, half naked. And then uh, they all said, surprise! Mm -hmm. And then uh, they all leave you uh, alone there with the woman. What would you do, Scott? I would probably think of my wife whom bar none, even at this uh, senior age, no, uh, is still the sexiest, mm -hmm. loveliest, most beautiful woman I have known. Mm -hmm. Of course, it would be very tempting if I allow uh, my mind and my heart to relocate below the belt, where all there is is a muscle mm -hmm. without ears, without eyes, that is activated by an extra supply of blood. <laughs> uh, it would be a difficult choice. But I think, I think about it. Now, uh, we're talking about uh, a situation now. Yes. I would probably resist the temptation mm -hmm. and find out how a young lady as pretty as she is would be in this situation. Uh, I'm not. I'm not saying this for uh, for uh, pogi points okay. or uh, uh, for a probable press release. No, I'm just saying this because uh, after everything I've gone through, I've settled down on what is most important in my life, and that includes my wife and my children. And there is no force, uh, sexy or otherwise, <laughs> that will allow me to divert from what they have. They're uh, in